Meantime, the US president is headed to Britain on his first overseas trip since taking office. Mr. Biden will meet British Prime Minister Boris Johnson tomorrow. He will then join the Group of Seven Summit. It's the first time that leaders of the world's biggest economies will meet in person since the start of this pandemic. Vaccines, trade and climate change are expected to top the agenda. Mr. Biden is also hoping to find ways to counter China's growing influence. Simon Marks joins us live now from Washington, D.C. for more on this. Simon, what does Mr. Biden want to achieve out of this first foreign trip? Well, an enormous amount uh, on the one hand, uh, Dawn, but on the other hand, something very uh, simple in a way. He wants to establish his credibility uh, and the sustainability of the message that he's presenting. Remember that every single one of those leaders he's going to be sitting down with at the G7 in Cornwall, then in Europe a few days later in Brussels, they all witnessed the assault on the US Capitol building just five months ago. And many of them have questions about whether Joe Biden's worldview, America is back, he says, this return to normalcy, uh, is something that is over even the short term here sustainable, given that the United States has midterm elections as early as November of 2022. They want to hear more from him uh, about what role the United States plans to play, particularly in vaccine diplomacy uh, moving forwards. They want a sense from him that while he's put climate change on America's front burner, it is going to stay there over uh, the medium term at the very least. Uh, and they also want to get a sense of where the United States uh, is heading with regards uh, not just to its own economic recovery, uh, but in this uh, building of a coalition of democracies that President Biden envisages confronting Russia and China on the world stage. Exactly what are they being asked to commit to in that coalition. So this is a very, very big agenda uh, that lies ahead for the next week. It certainly is. But at the same time, Simon, we saw this before the pandemic and they're at it again. Tensions with China, they are again on the rise over Mr. Biden's new plans to tackle uh, China, uh, Beijing on technology. Yeah, I mean, two things happened simultaneously over the course of the last 24 hours. The approval of that massive bill on Capitol Hill by the Senate still requires the House of Representatives to approve it. It would uh, pour $50 billion into America's semiconductor industry uh, in a bid to confront China's dominance in that sector. Very rare to see Republicans backing such a seismic bit of public expenditure by the government in essentially private industry, uh, but also the creation uh, yesterday announced here of a task force uh, to identify areas in which China and other countries uh, are threatening the United States as far as supply chains uh, are concerned. So all of that indicative uh, of uh, the uh, mission that the president sees uh, for the next few days in Europe, which is creating that coalition of democracies uh, ahead of his meeting, for example, with Russian President Vladimir Putin in Geneva next week uh, and ahead of the United States unveiling the outcome uh, of its policy review with regard to China. All of this an indication uh, that President Biden's uh, position uh, with regard to Beijing is not just hardening, but is gathering pace and securing or seeking uh, to secure the support of adherents uh, in other world capitals. It appears that way. Simon, thank you very much. Simon Marks there in Washington, D.C.